Okay, NAM 2011, and we are here at the Focusrite booth. Once again, we're going to be talking about uh, RedNet, which uh, looks pretty exciting. Can't wait to hear about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the UK, and uh, apparently we're fairly understated. So when I say that RedNet is going to revolutionize, revenu revolutionize the way the studio exists, the, ra the way it works, I really mean that. Um, what is RedNet? Well, red because of the famous red um, red line that, that came introduced in 1993 that was famous for mainly looking good but also sounding fantastic and, and bringing a level of quality and design and build to the studio. So red net does the same thing but the other side of it, the net side, well that stands for ethernet. Red net brings the Dante technology to the recording studio and it provides 128 in, 128 out three milliseconds of latency, 120 dB dynamic range on every single one of these interfaces. So it's an entirely networked over Ethernet, standard Ethernet, giggy switch, um, and standard Cat5e cable, and you can rig your entire studio and scale, scale it up with multiples of these different units um, to build an entirely networked studio. And all those units are remote controlled over that Ethernet network, and everything can be added, taken away, and automatically recognized over that network. So it's an entirely networked professional audio system. Would you like me to take you through the units? Please do. Now these are the first five units. These are the first five units of the range. And um, there's going to be more. Basically, we intend the RedNet system to provide every solution you would need for the modern recording studio. But to start off with, we're delivering solutions that can interface with your existing technology. RedNet 1 and 2 over here are your 8-channel and 16-channel ADDAs. Again, 120 dB dynamic range, jet PLL throughout, 24-bit, 192K, and all the uh, different uh, sample rates between. So really powerful solutions for getting your analog in and out of the RedNet system. We move over to the RedNet 3, which is our digital I.O. box. RedNet 3 delivers 32 channels of ADAT, 8 channels of ASEBU, or 2 channels of SPDIF. Basically, it's a way of, once again, uh, interfacing with your current digital solutions into the RedNet system. Also provides word clock on BNC and also on those uh, digital channels. Finally, RedNet 4. Finally, in terms of the hardware boxes, RedNet 4 is our 8-channel pre, which also offers uh, line level in and two DIs on the front. But there's one product I haven't talked about. That's the PCIe card. The PCIe card is the bit that enables that 128 in 128 out channel count and the low latency. But you can actually work the system without that PCIe card. You can work on their Dante virtual sound card system, which allows you to plug any one of these units or an Ethernet with multiples of these units into the Ethernet port on a laptop or an iMac. Um, the only thing is you kind of increase the latency slightly up to about firewire levels. Um, so perfectly fine for mixing and you decrease the channel count to a measly 64 in, 64 out. So uh, probably not too problematic for most people. Now, is this going to be um, fairly aggressively priced for project studios as well as the bigger studios, or is this a big studio product? This is an extremely aggressively priced solution, I think as it needs to be. We're trying to bring uh, focus right to as many people as we can without compromising on the quality. Um, the RedNet modules and the PCIe card start at around the $1,250 mark and go up to around $2,500. But if you think about RedNet and what it's going to do in terms of cabling, and RedNet is all about cabling, or rather how to reduce the cabling. Uh, if you're building a new room and you're laying multi-cores, and you know the price of multi-cores, I don't know, 10, 10 bucks a foot or something crazy, um, simply installing and wiring up a new studio is about equivalent to the cost of one or two of these modules. So the money you'll save alone in cabling just because you basically take a single Ethernet cable and you've probably already got an Ethernet port in the studio you want to install, you can put the modules right by the sound source and it's a single Ethernet cable. So it's all very easy and every single box is automatically recognized the moment it's attached to the network. And you can just keep adding on to your, your system? Up to that 128 in, 128 out limit. In fact, that's the limit of operating channels, but ultimately you could have a larger system, you just can't run all those channels simultaneously. And every single one of those boxes is remote controlled as well. And that remote control 
operates on the same Ethernet cable. There's just one Ethernet network. Amazing. It is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Not a, not a problem.